Hey listeners, it's Paul Andriola here. Why not join our community at Small Cap Discoveries where we offer our members direct access to some of the best microcap investment opportunities available. Our members are getting access to premium microcap financings, research reports, and direct access to management. Sign up today at www.smallcapdiscoveries.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Small Cap Discoveries conference call. Today on our call, we have CEO Doug Vickerson from RenoWorks for, back for an update. RenoWorks trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol RW and on the OTC under ROWKF. The, cur- the company is currently trading at $0.49 cents with roughly 39 million shares outstanding or about a $19 million market cap. I'd now like to hand it over to Paul Andriola. Thank you so much, Trevor. Uh, Doug, we haven't seen each other in a long time. So good to have you back. Good to see your face. Good to yeah, hear everybody's healthy and happy. That's that's great news. Um, you know, we always we always love to have you in, get an update. Uh, it's been a little while. So, um, you know, without further ado, why don't we get into an update? But mind you, before that, why don't you remind everybody who's not familiar with RentaWorks, uh, you know, let them know what RentaWorks uh, does. Correct. Thanks, Paul. And it's always good to be back. I, I want to say that I, I see some familiar faces out there, but Paul, you're the only face I see. I see, <laughs> I see familiar names on the phone call. So it's, uh, it's good to uh, be talking with everyone. Always enjoy doing it. Uh, as I've always said, the group that uh, Paul hangs out with uh, have been extremely supportive uh, and and so I, I look forward to giving you an update. So RentalWorks, for those of you who don't know, is a company that we are building software for the building products industry, the remodeling industry. We primarily work only in North America. I think that if you were to understand our DNA and how we started and where our technology started was we developed software to allow someone to design their remodel project before they actually lift a hammer. So that's kind of the DNA of what we do. And we've obviously evolved in the last 20 years to, you know, evolved how we do that. And I think and, and many of you have probably heard this, but I think where we're taking our platform and we've been working on this for a long time is truly making it a platform where it can be an end-to-end solution so that we're not only doing visualization or design, but we're actually looking at the entire remodel project and, and facilitating taking it from start to finish. And so I think that that's, you know, I'm gonna let Paul ask me some more questions and let this discussion evolve a bit. But I think if you were to take a look at our platform as a marketplace, connecting homeowners with contractors, last year we had over 3 million homeowners that came onto our platform, not directly to RentalWorks, but through our partners. And all of them are at least somewhat interested in doing a remodel project because the companies that we work with that and, and these homeowners are visiting are all building products company. So we, we realize that we are in a very interesting place in that cycle, right at the, at the beginning of when a homeowner is looking to do a project. And so if we can facilitate that in a marketplace form, there's places for us to grow our business all through that process or all through the value chain, basically creating a marketplace. Yeah, you know what what I've always told people is, um, and because I've I've worked in the renovation industry, um, so many consumers show up uh, having a rough idea of what their kitchen remodel is going to look like, or, you know, the outside of their home is going to look like, but they really don't know what it's going to look like. Right. And um, being able to give them real world examples 
you know, images of real products that showcase what it's going to look like afterwards saves the contractor and the consumer a lot of headaches. And that's really what you guys do is you're the interface that allows that to happen, allows that consumer to really understand what he's going to be, you know, paying a lot of, you know, big dollars for. And, and ideally, you know, the contractor uh, has less, uh, you know, issues because he showcased what that product and, and uh, you know, job is going to look like well before the headaches start. Yeah, and let, let me nuance that point Paul a little bit here, just to, just again, to understand the platform that we have. So we've made announcements before. So this is public knowledge and you can go to a number of our applications and look in, uh, you know, what we're doing. So we have AI technology, artificial intelligence or machine learning technology where someone can you know, grab an image of their home, upload it onto our platform, and within 30 seconds, they can get a design back. And, and what's happening behind the scenes is that we're using our AI technology, so our machine learning platform that we have trained to be able to recognize the outline of a roof and the different facets of the roof and the, and the slope and the, and the perspective of the roof, the different sides of the, of the house. And we do all that in 20 to 30 seconds, get that back to the homeowner and they're designing their home. We also do it with humans. And that's a really big part of our design service business. But now we're doing it with AI back in 30 seconds. And why that's important, I'll tell you a little this is, you know, I, I want to kind of work in some of the new things that we're doing into this is we, we have a customer who utilizes our AI technology and they probably have 20,000 homeowners that uh, come to our platform every month. And, and we were getting incredible usage of our AI technology. So probably north of 60% of all those homeowners were using our AI. Great. But we, what we weren't doing is we weren't asking for the homeowner's name and email and any information when they were coming onto that platform. So our customer went tons of usage which an engagement, which is good, but no useful information. So we have a whole new data science department where we said, let's set up a test on this platform. Let's put half of those 20,000 people, 10,000 people where they can use that AI service. They don't have to give any information. Let's take the other 10,000 people and make them type in their, their, their name and their email address and agree that they can be contacted. And we were worried that if you put a gate in front of it, that the, that the volume would go down, people would just drop off. It only went down 20%, but instead of getting, you know, 100 leads, we got 5,000 leads or even more. And so from a customer standpoint, they're going, wow. And that's just the start of the process. That's just, uh, that's the start of the funnel. And so now we're, we're, we're doing things on our platform to take all those users through the different phases of the value chain. So at the end of the day, when we connect that homeowner with the contractor, it's not just a name and an, and an email address to say, yeah, they're interested. It's a name, email address. And because of our data science, it's all the, the things that they've done, the designs. Maybe we've added measurements to it. Maybe we've added a material list. So the term that we use is that we're handing off leads that are project ready 
to the contractor. So the contractor in theory could do a virtual meeting without even meeting with the homeowner. So that's kind of, mm. I, I, I've said a lot of things. So I think the things that I would want everyone to draw out of that are it's a platform for the whole end-to-end -end solution. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're introducing AI technology. So quick, our data science that, that we're looking at the data to, to help us make decisions. Those would be kind of the three things that I want to draw people's attention to. Mm. And, and how do you, how does Renaworks monetize something like that? How do you, um, you know, what is a customer paying your, you know, I know, I know the consumer doesn't pay anything at this point for, for that, but how do you monetize that, that platform? So really, really good question. So to, how we've been monetizing it so far, and I think people know this, is that in, in, a, in a manufacturer example, there's a setup fee, there's an annual licensing that might be fifteen to $20,000. There's a, uh, a design service, which not many of our customers are offering free to the customer. If, if they were, you know, we're, we're obviously trying to work on that, but there's a little bit of transaction. So that's kind of our business model right now. So with these additional services, so how are we monetizing it? So the, 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 data, the data, the metrics, understanding the customer journey better, uh, Renoworks being able to offer uh, in, you know, in, individual insight into the customer journey is extremely important for manufacturers. So if we, I think I've said this in a forum like this, let's take that example, 10,000 homeowners, uh, we get names from 5,000 of them. It's still 5,000. It's still uh, a lot of people. So our data science is, you know, using AI to say, okay, fo first focus on these 2,500, then focus on these 1,500, because they're all going through little gates. And then, okay, these 750 people, these are the ones that you need to focus on. And, and having that ability to real-time react to homeowners coming to their website, uh, I want to say is gold uh, for customers. I think everyone probably knows that, you know, data, data science and, be, you know, intelligence around who to focus on is, you know, it, it's really important for, for any business. And quite frankly, we are the only business, I don't want to say the only, there's a couple of actually partners of ours that we're combining our technology with to make it even better. So, so to answer your question, Paul, uh, manufacturers are going to pay increased licensing for that knowledge, for having a dashboard to be able to literally go in and, and see what each individual homeowner has done, but also get more of a macro effect to help them make decisions. And so you kind of carry that out a little bit more, and I will carry it out a little bit more. How do we make money? Well, so let's say we've honed in on, you know, a thousand people that are really high quality leads. Well, we say, to our manufacturer customer, let's go buy measurement reports for all of these because we think measurement reports will, it's, it's creating a better lead. Well, we make money off of each of the measurement reports. Okay, so we're, we're, we're making money. Well, let's create a, a material list. Well, if if we create a material list working with the manufacturer and then that, that material list goes to a distributor, we can make money off that. And then I think 
probably the biggest opportunity, even a bigger opportunity to make money off of this new system is that when a contractor um, gets this lead, we will give them at no charge to the contractor uh, through a, a project URL, the name and the email address of this homeowner. If they want to unlock all this additional information on this lead, then they need to subscribe to our SaaS platform. So that's brand new. So all these additional areas where we can license our technology, that's where the opportunity is. Um, so, I mean, the, the sense I get then is what you've been doing over the last, uh, well, I'll call it maybe a couple of years, is you've been building a, a traffic flow, um, almost sort of validating the, the traffic, validating the data that you guys are getting on behalf of your customers. And as you get to understand that more, you're, you're adding the different monetization pieces. Is that is that a fair way to sort of yeah, say it? Yeah. And even, okay. even going back to our core business of design services, as an example, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's, that's our core, you know, one of our core pieces of our business is that we can expand very easily. There's one customer we just found out this week, they're starting a big promotional campaign where you know, they're spending millions of dollars advertising their company in, you know, a, multiple media markets and multiple different media channels. And the, and the designer is going to be a prime focus of that. So, and they're moving from a homeowner paying for the design service to a free model. So again, that, that's, that's just... We're always trying to do that, always trying to increase our design services. Uh, so I think you're right. As we get more sophisticated in, in our offering, mainly through analyzing data, we will be able to show uh, you know, the ROI. Brent Todd is, I don't think he's on this, this meeting, but Brent Todd, a colleague of yours, Paul, I know, and has always said, what's the ROI? And proving out the ROI is sometimes hard because we're working with manufacturers who are at an arm's length to their contractors and quite frankly, to the homeowners. They don't sell directly to homeowners or contractors. So figuring out that ROI has been, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Job. Yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, let's have it. Mind you, I, I should remind everybody, if uh, if you've got a question you want me to ask Doug, uh, please use the chat function and we'll do our best to uh, to get that question answered. Um, Doug, let, let's talk a little bit about sort of the last couple quarters here. Um, you know, you know, the last quarter was relatively flat um, over the year ago period. Um, you know, you guys have been spending a fair bit on just building up the, the business a, lot, a fair bit in R&D, the AI that you mentioned. Um, what, what can you tell us as far as the expectations in, in terms of revenues or, you know, what, what sort of happened last couple quarters to, um, to sort of slow down your growth? Is there anything that, uh, that you can tell us? Uh, yeah, definitely. So li little bit, um, let me, let me tell you, you know, some specifics. So if I look at Q3 of 21 versus Q3 of 20, we definitely had an uptick in 20. You know, everyone was in their homes. Our design service business was really high. Um, you know, it was a, it, I think Q, Q3 of 20 was a record uh, design service quarter. So I, th I think what happened was that in Q3 of 21, we kind of, it was flat, you know, it's still, you know, good volume, but we still have not, and I'll just be honest, we still have not got our manufacturers to offer this design service for free. 
because as you know, we're adding more manufacturers all the time on the design service, but they're, you know, they really need to offer it for free in order for the volume to, to increase. So we're, we're continuing to work on that. So that, that, that would be one reason. So again, I think we, in, um, in 20, or pardon me, in 21, uh, we onboarded more, way, you know, the most new manufacturers than we ever have. So if you look at our deferred revenue on our, on our balance sheet, that's indicative of all the new contracts we've signed. Because when we sign a contract, we automatically invoice the customer 50% of the contract. And what has happened because of this increased uh, demand for our service is quite frankly, we were under-resourced. We, we could not deliver the projects as fast as uh, we wanted to. So that's a little bit of what was happening in Q3 as well, where uh, you know, lots of projects we were, you know, we're, we've increased our, our, our team now. We've probably added you know, between 15 and 20% from a staffing standpoint. So we're, we're really starting to tick away now at, you know, both delivering projects and uh, expanding out our platform. Uh, so that, I don't know if that answers it. And, and you can kind of go, if you want to dig further, Paul, uh, dig further, but that, that's some of the reason. Yeah, no, no, I, I think that that starts to get to the, the, um, the just of it for sure. Um, Let's talk a little bit about design services. So you did say that, um, and I understand the business, and I understand. So I'm sort of leading a couple of questions here. But um, you know, you're getting you you're getting these manufacturers to come on board. You're asking them to offer these design services. Uh, traditionally, they would pay you, but they would uh, it would be free for the consumer to come on. And really, what it is, it's a lead generation system for them to ideally upsell. You know, better. You know, better roof tiles or you know different paint colors and things like that whatever it might be yeah. exactly yeah so um so is it is it a function of them wanting to see more of the data that you guys are bringing to them to justify um you know them finally saying okay this is good now for collecting enough data there's enough statistics here to tell <laughs> us it's working so therefore we'll we'll pay 10 bucks a design service or whatever the number is um, to, to justify, is that kind of the way to look at it right now? We're, you're sort of 100%. waiting for that validation. Okay. hundred mm -hmm. percent. And, you know, you almost have to, uh, go in with a, you know, you want to be as an organization, you want to be able to go into our customer base and basically say, if you invest hundred thousand or five hundred thousand dollars your return will be tenfold right and and you know that's kind of a no-brainer then for them mm -hmm. to to do and and i can tell you that we're getting there and i want to i want to emphasize the problem we're trying to solve though mm -hmm. is typically this industry are are technology laggards mm -hmm. Okay, so they don't have the CRM systems to even look at leads. So they're kind of going, why would I spend a million dollars when I have no idea what it will do? There are companies that are spending multi-millions with us uh, because they inherently uh, know that it's good for their business. So, you know, there, there are companies and there are, are companies starting to do that. That is why we've invested in our data science and analytics, where we will be able to definitively show that if, just like my, my AI example, mm. we showed that if you gate your AI, we turned 100 leads into 5,000 leads. That, and we're doing that with a beta partner, a multi-billion dollar company, and they've and they've just dis new company to offer design services for free, mm -hmm. you, you know, starting 
in in March. Mm -hmm. So it's painful yeah. <laughs> yeah. to get to where we're at. It's really, you know, it's it's laborious. Mm -hmm. Um but, but, it, it, we, but this yeah i mean this, this is a big nut you're trying to crack too oh. i mean i again i understand the industry and to be able to um sort of using mostly technology in a lot of ways uh no face-to-face -face, uh connection between a manufacturer and a contractor and a consumer um you're really trying to do something that that's would shake up the industry because the old traditional way of getting a renovation done is you get three contractors to come in through your house they're going to sit there measure up everything and they're going to show you a couple of swatches of a handful of things and they're going to say okay mrs jones and mr jones what color uh you know um countertop do you want and what kind of baseboard and what kind of this what kind of that and and you know they're, they're looking through books and they're you know and then they finally turn around a couple of days they send in a quote um, and then somebody's got to sit there and decide which contractor and which exact, you know, what color they got to do this and that without really seeing anything it, it, other than those swatches. So, I mean, what you're trying to do is cover a, a whole bunch of things that's, that's quite complicated, quite cumbersome. And from the contact, contractor standpoint, they got to have somebody go in there, put in an estimate, the, the costs and hassle of doing that, and then they run the risk of, of not getting the contract. Um, you're really trying to streamline that whole process, are you not? Uh, exactly. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to show, I'm actually going to share maybe a couple of slides on my screen. So you're, it's, it's a, you know, and I've, I've actually spent some time uh, talking to a number of you. It, it's a, it's a comp, the reason no one has done this yet in there's, People are attempting to do this right mm -hmm. now in various different ways. Mm -hmm. The reason that it hasn't been done is it, it's so complex. Mm -hmm. But I think th there's two slides that I want to show you that I think are really important. And I get, I, get con I get this confirmation all the time about Renorks is that the 20 years that we've been doing that, this, and I've you know, I've focused on just the exterior here because mm -hmm. the exterior is an area that we're, we're very much focusing on for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the reason that we're focusing on exterior is I can get an image of the home without going to the home. You know, there's def different, you know, Google Street View and all these different things. I can get the measurements of the home without just from an address. So yeah. being able to transact something entirely without being to the home, that's why we're focused on the exterior. Even though we do interior, mm -hmm. but we think that the lowest hanging fruit is the exterior. So the, the reason that I show you this slide, and there's one more slide that I wanna show you is that Many, like, rental works is, I, I don't want to get too brazen here, but we're kind of the only game in town in, in North America. Even our com competitor, Chameleon, they're kind of moving more towards the interior. And we, we have, we're, we're onboarding more manufacturers than we ever have. We're having other technology companies come to us who are kind of offering technology in the same space, basically saying, can we integrate your technology onto our platform? And so our market reach is, it's expanding, you know, from, you know, we, we basically are saying that we can reach all the contractors. We can reach basically every single exterior project done every year. Uh, and I'll just show one, one more slide here. Um, even just from the contractor standpoint, there, there's about 200,000 exterior remodel contractors in the industry. We have multiple ways to uh, get access to those contractors. So with our building products manufacturers, they've, they've partnered with all 200,000. With our build the the building products distributors, they've also partnered with every single one, 
And then we're gaining access to the same group through a different channel through our technology partners. Same thing with our big box retailers. So I think, I, and obviously I'm biased and I'm the CEO and you know, you might see slow growth right now, but what we're building is something that will take off because we, we're, we're, we're putting all the pieces together for, um, you, you know, what, what will be, I think, a really, you know, really important technology for the industry. Doug, um, so if we if we do view it as sort of trying to um, either validate the traffic or validate the value of the traffic, um, are there other metrics that we can talk about? Like like how many how many design services were done? How many how much traffic are you seeing on your customer sites? Is there something else that doesn't necessarily uh, reflect revenue but reflects you know a, a metric of growth in terms of just traffic? Yeah, so, so traffic would be one for sure. So I'll just go back to the previous slide here. Mm -hmm. So we get traffic from our, you know, our enterprise customers because they're coming through our platform. So that, that's a really big area that we, we get traffic from. So as we add new manufacturers and enterprise clients, that's going to increase the traffic. So that's important, traffic is important, but I think what is as important is that we've got this customer base where in a very loyal customer base, we have a retention of probably 95% plus of, of these customers. And we have, and, and this is what we've been developing, we have the ability to go to these customers and say, let's, it, Let's expand what you're doing with us and, um, and, sh and, and having the ROI to show that. Like it, it's, um, we just landed a new customer um, who interestingly, they're a metal roofing company. We lost them uh, at, the, at, at the beginning of 2021 to Chameleon. And they had a, a, a shiny 3D um, model thing where they were generating tons of interest, tons of traffic, but they weren't able to do anything. So they came back to us in nine months and we told them what we're doing, where we're generating, um, you know, generating leads and giving you uh, transparency into what's, what's happening with those leads. So typically a a manufacturer would spend, you know, licensing uh, $20,000 a year. We are talking to them where we're increasing that $20,000 a year to $100,000 a year because mm -hmm. we're giving them data insight. So multiply that by the 200 plus manufacturers. Uh, and then we're, we're double, you know, we're, we're, we're making money that's just the licensing the manufacturer will pay by, by passing these leads to their, I think they've got 6,000 contractors. Mm -hmm. Those 6,000 contractors could be paying hundred bucks a month for, for this SaaS platform. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it's like, like what do you look for um, as metrics uh you know, I, I, I sort of I say that because in 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 lieu of the revenue, right? As as you guys try to validate it, as investors, um, I think you know we'd want to hear that you know there's now you know fifty thousand people going through the platform. You know, just just even just for whatever reason, whether they're getting this service or that service, because my thinking is you know, like every customer that sort of sits there at some point is going to have a value attached to that an average value. And if you can see that those numbers are growing, even if you're not mm. monetizing it now, you know, it's sort of like the future value of this customer is X. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think, I think it'd be very helpful just to see the, the rate of growth of, of, you know, people that are using the platform, even if they're not paying for it yet. 
Right. That's a that that's a, a really good point. I I know the graph I'd want to see right there with Paul mm -hmm. that you kind of kind of um, paint for me. Perfect. Perfect. Well, next time we'll have you on, we'll we'll expect to see the graph. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, good. 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 Um, why don't we talk just about maybe, maybe I mean, you, you guys, you mentioned AI and a few other initiatives, but are there other initiatives, other directions you want to take some of the technology? You know, what, what do you see, you know, down the road you guys will be able to do for your uh, customers or the consumer? Uh, so, so, so again, you, you know, I think it's our, our, our focus is on our customers mm -hmm. uh, for sure. So I don't want to lose sight of that, but we 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 have a number of partnerships as well. I kind of mentioned, you know, this 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 bubble here, technology partners, and and the, sometimes those are billion dollar companies that are. I mean, some of them are smaller, so that would be saying. Uh, we need your your technology on our platform. So they're servicing the roofing industry, mm -hmm. or they're servicing, you know, the roofing industry with measurements, or the uh, what other, you know, they're 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 generating leads for contractors, and they say, like here here's an example. Here's here's a little example. So I think I think that the theme, Paul. In what else we're looking at is we're looking to take our technology and our platform and literally integrate it into other companies who are technology companies onto their platform. So that's the theme. Here's a particular example. So there's a company, they're a AI company. So, and, and what they do, this is a partner of ours, what they do is they go and create audiences out of Facebook and mainly out of Facebook, where they say pick an area of a, of a city and, and, you know, here, it, you know, pick these ones, they're more likely to buy siding from you. And so they're partnering with the same manufacturers that we're partnering with. And they're also partnered with contractors. So we, you know, there, there's an opportunity that we're working on right now, multifaceted, where this company is going out and, and they're running, you know, pay-per-click campaigns, social media campaigns for individual contractors who are spending between five and $20,000 a month on pay-per-click. And they're, they're going out to the market and using Renoworks visualization uh, to try to you know, get that homeowner engaged. Put in your name and number, uh, agree to a, a phone call with a contractor, and we'll give you a free design. And, and you know, they've got probably 1,500 contractors that they're doing for that. So you start doing the math of you know if, if they, they have to have a they have to have a subscription to the Renworks platform they're doing design services uh they're incorporating Renworks onto a contractor as as a widget um you know so there's some really interesting things that we're doing with technology partners, combining our technologies that um, could, you know, I, I think are going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know that you know some of the partnerships that we're, you know, I mean, everyone knows that we're we're we've partnered with Eagle View, mm -hmm. uh, who, you know, obviously they're kind of the the big gorilla in the market from measurement standpoint. They're they're still a very good partner of ours, and, and um, you know, trying trying to understand, uh, and and we are, you know, what we bring that they don't have. Like, here's an example. 
Many partners have tried to build what we've done, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of, or you know, millions of dollars trying to build what we have, they've given up. And, 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 you know, so they're coming to us knowing, you know, what we deliver. So I think that that's a pretty big theme as well, is that there's some very interesting, uh, you know, technology partnerships that, that we're looking at that mm -hmm. could be, that could be pretty important for Renworks revenue, even this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen so many different um, technologies that I can see be such interesting fits with what you guys are doing. Um, it sort of leads to a question that one of our listeners has right now in relation to like what what what's stopping? I mean, you guys are still in, you know twenty million dollar market cap, and I see some of the technology plays coming out of uh, you know Silicon Valley that are you know a couple hundred million dollars, and they seem to have not much more than you, if if, if at all. Um, what, what do you think stopping anybody from coming in saying, Hey guys, uh, let's just buy you. Oh, uh, we don't want them to. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> uh, that, that's, that, <laughs> yeah, y you're right. We, we, I, I get probably a knock on my door, uh, you know, from, I, I, I can, y you know, there's I'll throw one out there because I can kind of talk about them and everyone knows them and, and um, you know, Constellation Software. Mm -hmm. So everyone knows Constellation Software. They actually have a vertical in the construction mm -hmm. space. Um, you know, I've talked to them a lot and, you know, I finally, anyway, they're, they're great business. Mm -hmm amazing business but the, the, you know they're they're great at what they do because they underpay for or they pay the bare, yeah. bare minimum yeah. yeah so i told them no for the seventh time and for six times i was polite mm -hmm. and 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 paul you know me i think i'm a pretty you know i don't get <laughs> the seventh time i was going okay go pound go pound sand go pound know? sand yeah go pound sand yeah. um but there are strategic partners as yeah. well that are very interested in us. And I think what we're saying is it's way too early for us to sell. Yeah. Yes. It, it, and, and they try to say, they try to say, well, wouldn't it be easier to build what you want to build if we could fund it with, mm. you know, the millions of dollars that we mm. are, our venture capital company have or our private equity company mm -hmm. have and i say absolutely it would be i've mm -hmm. i've been living hand to mouth for 17 years yeah but give me a couple of years or and and then come talk to me in a couple of years yeah. But I, I think I mean, we've, we've sort of had this discussion uh, before, Doug, and it's it's more a question if they came with the right price, though, um, you, you'd, you'd seriously consider it. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have had this discussion. <laughs> Look, the, the, what that right price is, though. It, and it's always moving, right? It's, it's a moving it's target. All, it's, defi it's definitely always moving. And, you know, yeah. we've had. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I, I think we're way undervalued and mm -hmm. um, and that right price is definitely, you know, a, a moving target. So, yeah. And, and that's always been, that's, you know, the head scratcher has been, if you look at some of the similar technologies in the private space and certainly coming out of Silicon Valley, I mean, I've seen a number of them that are 10 X what your current valuation is and they, they have, you know, in some cases half of what you have. So I, I, I understand what you're getting at and, uh, Certainly, uh, uh, understand your frustration in terms of uh, the mobile offers here. I, and I shouldn't say this at this audience. I mean, and and especially this audience, because don't don't. I am the 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 valuation will come when when you know some of the, the what we're putting together right now not you know not seeing really anything that can 
come out and and you know tip us off of what we're doing i think we're you know we're pretty we have a pretty good moat around what we're building even some of our you know competitors who we thought we were competing with now want to partner with us mm-hmm. and that's you know that happened last year Mm-hmm. Uh, where I'm going, wow, you, you know, we must have something if we thought that some of our competitors are, are looking at us. And um, so, so again, I think that uh, the, the p- patience is like, it, it's, and, and we're not, uh, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that we're not the best at getting information out there. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm going to be meeting with our partner to do that and, and, and become way better at getting inform you know, sprinkling information out there that that's important. Uh, but, um, yeah, so that, that's kind of, I, 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 I hear you. And, and, and so, yes, there, there are companies who are looking at Renoworks and there's another, co- you know, another Ever Commerce, they haven't come and looked at us, but Ever Commerce is a really interesting company. They just went public, similar to Constellation Software, and and they have they're buying companies in our vertical mm. as well, technology companies. Mm. We're partnering with a number of their 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 companies. Mm. Ever Commerce, perfect. Ever Ever Commerce. Okay. I, I can, I'm not telling you anything. Yeah, no, no, I mean, they're all, yeah. But, but you know, that, you know, there, there's, there's a, a whole bunch of different companies that, that I think once we actually deliver on some of the things that we're talking about, then we'll mm-hmm. become even more interesting to them. No doubt. Doug, uh, I've got a question here and um, I'm going to reference back to one of your slides, but um, they, did you say that there's 7.2 million uh, uh, exterior projects done per year? Correct. In, in roofing, siding, windows and doors. That's, okay. Th- that's the only. Um, and that's North America. And that's just North America. North America. Okay. Um, Okay, so yeah, okay, the question, I think, I think the, the listener got the question backwards. Um, uh, that's the total number of those type of projects uh, in all of North America last year. Okay, gotcha. Um, Doug, um, you know, we're, we're probably due to wrap up here a little bit. Um, but as far as investors looking forward, um, what, what sort of metrics or catalyst do you think makes the most sense to, to sort of pay attention to or watch out for over the course of next year? So um, I, I've, I've never said this before, but, you know, a little bit of our R&D investment, I think you'll see in, in, the, in the new quarters that we're, in, you know, for Renoworks, we're investing a lot in, you know, building out the platform a little bit. Um, the, the deferred revenue, I think will be, I, we haven't, I, I, I can't remember what, what that's, you know, but again, still adding, um, adding manufacturers to it. You know, I, I hopefully you'll see in, um, in some of the, the, the press releases that we do, uh, you, you know, you'll be able to understand that, you know, announcing technology partnerships or, or partnerships with specific manufacturers because we're, we're doing certain things that, that you can take a look at. Um, are you going to see uh, huge increases in revenue, kind of Q1, Q2? Probably not. Um, but I think it's, there, there's like all last year as an example, we've been working with partners to prove out ROI, mm-hmm. to prove out, you know, some of this data science piece. And, and as an example, you know, we're just launching our new data science platform. So you're, you know, where, where we did not choose, we did not charge for analytics. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're, we, we now have, we're going to have three tiers of analytics. 
the first tier is four thousand dollars a year mm-hmm. um we'll probably grandfather our existing customers into that even though it's enhanced but just do that math mm-hmm. 211 enterprise customers paying us four thousand dollars a year mm-hmm. boom i mean we got to sell them we got to so it's not mm-hmm. it, it, stuff like that yeah. doesn't come yeah. overnight mm-hmm. but but that's you know, there's there's 800k high margin, high, high margin type high, of high, revenue. High, yeah, okay. High margin, high mm-hmm. margin. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you kind of you're making money in you know as you sleep because mm-hmm. you, you build this data science platform and you give them a dashboard that it's just it's just tracking mm-hmm. things down. We we. You know, we we got some really smart data scientists on the team this last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, so, and, and and that's tier one. You know, how mm-hmm. many can we get at tier two, which is you know forty or fifty thousand a year? How many can we get at what we're calling the marketplace level, four hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars a year? Cool. So I'm I, I'm you know again I'm always you know, I, I think some of the, I'm really excited about what the team is doing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we have a great team, so. That's great. Hey, Doug, so um, is there, is there any, you know, any sort of parting message or key takeaway? Um, we'll sort of wrap it up in a bow and, you know, the investors that are here and those that will be, you know, listening, hopefully on the, the recorded version, what is the key thing you want everybody to remember about uh, RunnerWorks today? So the the platform the, the the marketplace platform that we're building, connecting uh, homeowners with contractors in an ecosystem where RunnerWorks is. We're, we're, we're working with so many different types of organizations uh, and we are, we're getting feedback that we're, we're, we're working in the right direction. Uh, I, I think I'd want people to know that we're, we're, you know, we're financially strong to be able to do this. And I think, um, you know, you'll see in 2022 that there will be more of our customers and new customers and partners uh, realizing what they can do with our platform. So, you know, increased revenue, um, in increased offering to our existing customers. So that that's what I take away. Perfect. On that note, Doug, I'm going to say thank you. Um, thanks for joining us as always. Uh, it's always good to catch up. So it's good to see uh, you healthy and happy. That's awesome. Um, so uh, everybody, we've been speaking with uh, Doug Brickerson, CEO of RentaWorks Software, a symbol RW on the Venture Exchange, R-O-W-K-F on the OTC. Uh, Doug, as always, it was great to catch up with you and uh, we look forward to catching up with you soon. Thanks, Paul. And thanks everyone on the, on the line. Look forward to chatting. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.